Good evening. <clears throat> you, you can't measure heart. So, I was watching Love and Basketball for the millionth time. But this time, it was a little different. I was looking, you know, analyzing the movie, see if I can grab something from the movie. But this is what I grabbed. At the end, he, Quincy asked her why basketball wasn't fun anymore. Basketball wasn't fun for her because she didn't have him, because she loved him. So there's two points to this message. When you want to be successful and you want to do something you love, you want to have your mate there. You want to have that person that's been there from the get-go, from when you was broke, from when you were struggling, when from before anyone knew your name. You want that person by your side. That's going to make you happy. That's going to bring you joy when you go out there to do whatever you love to do. Because they're going to love to see you do whatever you love to do. So if you have someone on your side, what are you waiting for? No reason to wait. Take it. Make it serious. Do what you have to do. The other point was he told her. You're the only person I know that ever loved basketball the way you do. He only loved basketball because he wanted to be better than his pops, which is understandable. Most men are like that. They want to be better than their dad at whatever they do. She loved basketball because she loved to play the game. She played the game because she loved to play. She didn't do it because her dad played. Her dad worked at a bank. She didn't do it because her mom played. Her mom was a stay-at-home mom. She didn't do it because her older sister did it. Her older sister was a cheerleader, a cutie. You know what I'm saying? Good-looking girl. She wasn't into basketball and sports. So she went through the process, the process of getting recruited last. She was the best in high school, but she wasn't the best in college because she showed them she was the best in college. She took the starting spot. From a senior and she was a freshman. Why? Because she was dedicated to her game. She wanted to win. No matter what. She didn't give up. She didn't say, oh, okay. You said old girl was supposed to be here. So I'm not supposed to be here. So I'm going to quit working. I'm going to quit the team. Oh, I got an attitude now. No, she didn't have an attitude. She said, okay, that's what you think? I'm going to work. I'm going to work hard at it. I'm going to get the job done. Now... She goes to overseas. That's a process. There was no WNBA at the time, and women weren't playing in the NBA. So she had to go to the process. If she wanted to play basketball, she had to go overseas. That was the only option. So through her process, she kept going. She kept going. Then she came home. The love of her life had moved on. She was heartbroken. She didn't want to play anymore. So what did she do? She didn't give up. She knocked on my man's door 3 o'clock in the morning. Hey, come on, let's play. We're going to play for your heart. Let's see what you're about. We know what happened. They end up together. And what was she doing at the end of the movie? She's in a WNBA because she never gave up on her dream. She might not have been the first woman in the NBA, but she was in the WNBA. So don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up. It's a process. It's not going to be quick. You're not going to be successful overnight. You have to work for it. If you ain't willing to work, if you ain't willing to sacrifice sleep, if you ain't willing to sacrifice having fun with your friends, then what are you doing it for? And it's not even about you. You're working for yourself, but you're working to show someone else what hard work is. Some of us have kids. We're showing our kids what hard work is. We're not giving up. We might have to have two jobs and go to school. They see that. They see that grind. It's a sacrifice for right now. We might be broke, but we're not going to always be broke. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. And if you give up, you're just a quitter. You can't measure heart. Have a good one.